Welcome back, Achievers. We should be recording. I love that when you click one button and everything blinks and you're like, all right, hopefully it's good. <laughs> yeah, right? It's Welcome a, back. It does a little shutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it did. And I was like, uh... You're, you're basically waiting like, let's see if it crashes. It didn't. So yep. welcome back. We missed you. Your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week. March 10th. Boy, Jesus, we've been already, busy. Already marched. My God. 2022. Thank you so much for joining us today. Alex mm. is joining me as always. Yes. Now, if you're listening to us on a YouTube or podcast service, first off, we're going to do this quick this week. Thank you so much for listening. Podcast service, five-star review, YouTube, like, subscribe, share. Boom. Done. Patreon.com slash YouTubers if you want to benefit us financially. Support the show. Keep us going. Maybe one day we quit our jobs and do this full-time. You go over there. Boom. A dollar a day. Eh, uh, sorry. dollar a month. It's pennies a day. Yeah, pennies. Alex, yes. how are you doing? Dude, been busy with these games. Mm, that's and one in particular. Pretty much all we've been doing is playing video yep. games. I had a vacation. That's why we were missing yeah. last week. I apologize yep. for that. But I know the achievers boy, understand. Uh, oh, our boy you know, needs to have a break every once in a I while. I did, yeah. I had a good vacation with my wife. We had a good time. It's good. I had a great time. Went to Disney World. Can't, I mean, that place is so Can't fun. Can't go wrong, man. Can't yeah, never yeah, go yeah, wrong. Yeah, the place is so fun. Overpriced? Sure. Yeah. Dirty? It's going to happen. No, it's not very dirty. It's very nice. But... Like, it you're going to look at the festive. price, you're going to be like, is this worth it? Most likely, yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> nah, it, it was. It was. There's very few times it's, where I was like, mm, this You're sucks. not going to go to Disney and then and then be upset. No. No, you. it's hard It's hard to, like, not have a good <laughs> right? time. It's hard like, it's like as soon as you walk in the door, you're like, ah. <laughs> I do enjoy, I actually went to the Star Wars land. Yeah? That was very fun. I, I, I can't, uh, I want to go there. I rode Rise of the Resistance, which, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I I, can't, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Mm -hmm. I just want people to go write it. If you're ever in <laughs> Disney World, what, what the plan is, either you get there very early or very late. So either that's the first thing you ride in the day to minimize wait times, because it's going to be an hour plus throughout the whole, throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. Or this is a pro maneuver that my wife actually suggested we do. Mm. Right before close. I'm saying 10 minutes, five minutes even. Jump mm -hmm. in line. You jump in mm. line because when the park closes, if you're in line, mm -hmm. you're in line. They don't kick you out or anything. They don't tell you to leave. You just mm. you're in line now. So, and I, I did notice because prob they probably want people to get the fuck out of there as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. That line mm -hmm. doesn't last very long. Doesn't last very long at all. Wait time say it's fifty minutes. Nope. Yep. Got, got to the ride in twenty minutes. Uh, they probably want people to leave, so so they're yeah. funneling people to that thing way faster. Yeah, a little pro maneuver. I, I, I won't go too deep because it's a game show, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I had a great time, Alex. It's good. Every week, I like to start the show by asking you one singular question. Mm -hmm. What have you been playing? What have you been playing? Hmm. For audio that, listeners, he has a pouch that says Elden Ring. That's all I've been playing, sir. Okay. Elden Ring has been my life First for the last First couple question. days. Hmm. Time. Right oh. now, I just hit 50 hours in the game, okay. and I'm level 105. Okay. You know the game very well, then. <laughs> yes. Can we get a first impressions? Not really a first impressions. I mean, I feel like you can almost review the game right now. But let's say aside. Let's say from... let's get some bullet points of your okay. first off with your experience with the game, yes. how much you're liking it, and mm -hmm. where does it kind of stand in the Soulsborne? Okay, franchise. I guess is what you call it. I I love the game. Love the lore. Um, it it is a little easier to um, follow versus, for example, Dark Souls One. Um, this one is a little easier to follow. Huge game. I feel like it's. I feel like it's their biggest game yet, which is hard, crazy. So I mean, level design is amazing. Aside from the, every once in a while, you know, they've been technical issues about the the frames. It's hasn't really 
been an issue like over you, on like, digital trends here we go there is an article that says Elden ring has some performance issues so we talked about this a little bit last yes. week but but they it has become a pretty major issue mm-hmm. where people are saying there are huge frame rate issues in both the next gen versions at a pretty substantial rate if performance is a big deal for you. For instance, people are saying it's anywhere between 30 and 60 frames maybe on an Xbox Series X or PS5, and it dips quite a bit. I think on uh, PS5 but, and it's, it's kind of It's just crazy because it's not all the time. At yeah. least I don't, I'm not noticing it because it hasn't been to where I'm not enjoying the game. Like I'll see, like let's say if I get to an area where I guess has a lot of people... It, it gets a little framey, and then it fixes itself. I'm like, okay, I'm good. But like, it hasn't a, happened during a boss. It hasn't happened during anything major. There was a response from From that says they are looking into trying to solve. Yeah. To, because I, I get uh, what I'm guessing here is there's no way they can lock it uh, for whatever yeah. reason. I don't. Maybe they don't have great engineers or something. I, I have no idea yeah. why they. But. They can't lock it at 60 for whatever reason. So maybe, hopefully, they can at least steady it to 45 to 60. So you don't see substantial I mean, well, that's what frames. It, well, that's what, when I was looking at, before the game came out, it says on Xbox Series X, it's 45 to 60 on performance. And then it's uh, right. 30 to I'm 60 sorry. on quality. Thank you for catching me on that. No, you are right. Um, you are correct. I think yeah. people's frustration is that this game isn't running at 60, whereas... Yeah. Forza Horizon. Yeah. No, Low for Infinite. Sure. These games are running pretty I feel close like, to locked frame rates. I feel like I can say, though, like from my, at least my experience, like it's yes, it's not 60 all the time, but I feel like for the most part, I feel like I'm at least hitting 50 majority of the time, okay. which is, I mean, still better than 30, better than 45. I like so 50 to 60 I feel like it's my average because I never really notice the frame rate the only thing I'm worried about is like because how cra- there's so much in the game like I'm probably probably when there's some frame rate happening I I'm looking at something else anyway and then it fixes itself so this brought up a interesting conversation with people mhm why on Metacritic right now do I have Elden Ring? While you pull that up, I'll let you. I'll continue with like what I was saying with yeah, Elden please. Ring. Um, from all the From Software games, this is probably my number two or number three of all the oh, software games. Two or three, okay. Yeah, Bloodborne is number one. Just I, I love Bloodborne. Yeah. I cannot wait for, if they ever do a remaster. This is probably number two. And Dark Souls 1 is number 3. Maybe Demon Souls. One of the two. Because I, 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 I like Dark Souls 1 because it has a... Uh, it's just nostalgic, you know? Maybe one day we'll first, sit sir, down First and, Souls game that I ever played. Maybe one day we'll sit down and... Because um, I just recently... Really, well, I just literally replayed them all in the last year. Yeah. So, like, that's why I kind of have them fresh in my mind. So you're pretty um, positive this is 2 or 3. Yeah, like, but yeah, this is game anything is... anything that I can do to make it a one? Or is this just, like, because you've played a good bit of the game, so you, you can pretty confidently say I feel like... Yes or no. Um, it's hard, because I think it's because Blood, Bloodborne and Elden Ring are so different. Yeah. Bloodborne's, like, you know, repost with the gun and stuff like that. It's Very so, satisfying. so cool. Very like, in that, that steampunkish, you yeah. know, style, mm-hmm. everything's cool. It's so different compared to this one because this one is more. It's so Evil. open. You got yeah. You got the you got the horse. You can travel around. Like it's just so different. But like I feel like playing Bloodborne was just like I guess gave me more. Uh, I don't know how would I say. I want to say it was. It's a. I feel like Bloodborne is a little harder than this one. Okay. The so, reason, and I maybe it's because maybe I'm over leveled, or maybe I'm just used to the game. But like yeah. certain bosses in Elden Ring, I felt like 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 I beat a certain boss. Uh, I mean, let's say the one in the trailer, the one with the red hair. I think yeah. If you I don't want his name, I don't want to say that. Okay, Redon. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. It's his name is Redon. Spoilers. Say a boss's name. It said they said it said that he was one of the hardest bosses in the game. I feel like by the time I got to him, I beat him on my second or third try. 
People are saying and, he's like, the it, hardest boss in the game. One of them. One oh, one of them. Interesting. One of the hardest. One yeah. of the hardest bosses. Because, uh, yeah. And you fucking it, steamrolled through him. It sounds like. I yeah. I think it's maybe because people didn't know the mechanics or anything. But like I, because uh, there, there's so many quest lines. Like yeah, uh, uh, like this is and, like certain yeah certain things with NPCs and like that actually help you with that boss fight and that makes it easier. So maybe that's that didn't happen and then that's why they were trying to go in there solo and maybe that's what made it harder. And but like, uh, it I mean it was a great great um great battle. I mean I, I I I love this game. This game is so good. I'm still discovering. I mean, 50 hours in and I just found a whole new area that was blacked out that now I'm searching through and doing all the dungeons and everything. Okay. Like it's a there's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Is is this we don't know what the year looks like. Okay. Is this game of the year so far? So far I it's in my top to, first off it's Horizon, in my top right, 4 so. or 5, yeah, cuz I was going to yeah. say I got Horizon which is up there. I have this which is up there. I mean, so so far, I mean if I want to hmm cuz this is going to be hard. If I it, like so far out of the ranking, you know, since we have Elden Ring and Horizon, if I had to pick between the two, I might pick Elden Ring. Mm. Like I like I, like Elder Rings number one and Horizon number two. Okay, and I think it's just because how big. I mean, yes, I'll be curious. Horizon, to see. the world in Horizon's big as well. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just they they're both so different. Like we'll, they give we'll me see each give me so different emotions. End of the year where that sits. Yep. Let's see, I want to. Re- where is she going? And mind you, I platinumed Horizon Forbidden West in thirty hours. Okay. So. We're actually gonna skip what I was about. All right, that's a good. That's a. We got a pretty. It's got the achiever yeah. stamp of the approval. If yeah. you're out there thinking about playing Elden Ring, go pick it up. As long as yeah. you're okay with a challenge. If you're a soul, experience. if you're a Souls boy for uh, Souls boy. Uh, go or girl. Yeah, yeah Souls Souls boy or girl, play uh, get Elden Ring. It's fun. Alex, hmm. I've been playing Destiny two. I know. I know yeah. you're shocked. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm playing Destiny two. The reason I'm, I'm going to come back Destiny, to it I after Elden Ring, man. I, I don't, I, the reason I'm bringing up Destiny 2, because I normally don't, because I play yeah. it all the fucking time, yep. is I did the raid. Yep. Called How Vow of the Disciple. Okay. It is the raid for the Witch Queen expansion that launched the 22nd of November. Sorry, Jesus. February. My God. Mm-hmm. Apologies. And it is a fantastic raid. Um, yep. It probably is my favorite raid in wow. all of Destiny. The I I I, ha- I would have to sit down and really think because I've done them all. Mm-hmm. This one might be my favorite for a couple things. It's complicated, which I like. Not overly complicated to make it boring if you go back to it over and over again. Like it's just complicated enough where you have to think, but. When I have my 20th clear, I don't see mm. myself being like, Jesus, okay. Let's do this encounter. It's going to be annoying. It's not, it's not to that point where I feel like I, Last Wish has a, a specific encounter vault. That is kind of like, okay, yeah. let's, let's do this again and run around in the circus. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I think so. The, first off, the aesthetics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the aesthetics are breathtaking. Just yeah. seeing the the so basically the the raid takes place inside in of a pyramid. World? Okay. Um, pyramids are Destiny's, uh, I guess, uh, objectification of darkness or evil. It's more complicated than that. But are those the black ships. Yes, those are the black yeah. giant okay. pier. It's a giant pyramid and it's pyramid located, ship thing looking yeah, thing. Yeah, it's located inside of a of the new expansion area. Yeah. You go inside, kind of. You know, you, you we've seen pyramid ships before. They're kind of honestly bland. They all look like just kind of black things. Like everything looks kind of the same. Yeah. But when you go into this one, it's the 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 boss you fight. It's basically his home for like the last hundreds of gotcha. something years. Mm-hmm. And you, he kind of it's kind of like a mausoleum esque area. Like there's kind of like little museums and like 
places of worship that you find and mm. if you read the lore you figure out why they're there mm. um there's so much there's like there's still stuff being found out about the raid because it takes weeks to figure out everything but yeah uh it's it's really cool <laughs> like it's just it's just really cool i love it yeah i love it um i love that you, that uh there's a way of um you can craft the raid weapons you have to mm. get the like like red version of the gun five times and once you do that you could then just craft them okay and i can't wait to do that because the guns are so cool the the guns are basically kind of like kind of like this kind of blocky black image but they have squares cut out of them that turn so like when you're holding them like these squares are just infinitely turning very satisfyingly uh, and it's just a fantastic raid. I, I can't wait to play more of it. it literally, the, I have one clear of it. And can't I can't wait to play more. So would you of say the raid. this, because uh, I know you said this is your favorite. Would you it say this is their, do you, um, like mechanical wise and game wise, do you think this is their best raid yet? Or do you think there's another raid that's been out before that you First I, off, I, think I appreciate this one... you asking if it's the best raid yet, because people have always confused the two saying yeah. something is your favorite but also yeah. noting it's not the best i appreciate you for that because yeah. i'm sure everyone at home went why is it he just said it's just a yeah no, no yeah no because that's your favorite. two different things yeah best yeah favorite do yeah. i think it's their best raid i don't know uh, i w- i would re- i have to play it more okay um i would probably say no which which one's the closest one that would say that I think it would be it, raid? I think it's between three. This okay. one, uh-huh. Last Wish. Okay. And there's one called Wrath of the Machine. Okay. In Destiny One. Fucking fantastic raid. Fantastic okay. raid. It's it's great. It's great. The only reason I think about not putting this as my personal favorite, like number one, like easily, mm-hmm. is Wrath of the Machine. It's so fun to do. Okay, and that was from D1, you said? That is D1. That was the last raid they ever put in the game. So good. It's, it's gotcha. really cool. Yeah, but, I I would pro- but again, I think I would pick this one over okay. that one. Uh, but is there it's the best raid? It's between those three, in my opinion, um, where, like, if we're talking, like... Because the one the one aspect that is that makes it slightly lower is playing mm-hmm. through the raid. It's kind of hard to get a coherent story. Uh, you do get a okay. you get a fantastic story if you read the lore tabs. I yeah. I've read a few. Jesus, they're good. They are very, very good. Mm-hmm. But have to read the lore tabs, which you that's kind of lame in my opinion. Mm-hmm. That you don't get a full story throughout your experience of the raid, like from start to finish. Like when you beat it, like if you aren't paying attention, you probably don't even know who the fuck you're gonna kill at the end. Like, you know, this yep. guy's name is Rolk and he is darkness and he's evil. So we'll kill him. But you don't know his motivations or anything. You know, you don't. He, yeah. You know. We didn't mm-hmm. even know who this was until the raid came out. We have no idea who this character was. Yeah. Now we know he's very important with the context of the story mixed in with this and other things, other lore tabs. So he's an important character. But that's the one thing that's kind of down on this raid is. You don't really understand what's going on if you're not paying attention. Gotcha. And aside from that, I've been playing Horizon. I I think we've mm-hmm. talked enough about Horizon. It's a fantastic game. Can't wait to play it more. Alex has has what? What have you done with Horizon, Alex? Alex, I think he's grabbing something. He's pl- he planted the game. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he doesn't hear me now. There we go. Okay. It said it had, you, had, you had froze. Okay. Well, I, I, it, was, it's, it couldn't have happened at a better time. Because I literally okay. said, Alex, what have you done with Horizon? And you just like, nothing happened. I was like, uh, is, he, is he grabbing something? Is he- yeah, literally you were in the middle of talking and you were just like, uh, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh and no! I'm like okay, I was like okay. I guess I'm gonna be splitting two videos, but yep. no, it's cool. No, it's fine. Um, it's funny because you could tell now, me like you could see uh, me panicking. Like, uh, is he grabbing something? What the fuck is he doing? Okay, now what was your question? What have you done with Horizon? You have planned it. I already said it. You, yes. you planned the game. 
Yes, yes. I didn't do every single side. You don't have to do every single side quest or everything for. I only because I I was very time limited because I really wanted to play Elden yeah, Ring. You wanted to play Elden Ring. Yeah, so I uh, I just did all the base necessities for the platinum, but I still enjoyed my time. Right. Um, the story so fun. I, I was not expecting the twists and stuff like that. Like I liked the way everything is being in that world again. Like I just recently finished Horizon One after five years of its release. Playing this, it was it was great. Like I think once we have a break of games again, I think I'm gonna go back to one and platinum one because I never got to do that. So okay. But yeah, right now Elden Ring has me like this, man. Ice cream. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, 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 we've talked about it enough, so I won't bore you. It's a great game. Play nah, yeah. it, please, for the love of God. Yes. Um, if you need to wait for a sale, but I recommend just picking it up now if you have the free yeah. time. Such it's playable. So lo- looks so good too. Alex Horizon looks great. Rapid mm-hmm. fire for the week. Couple things. <laughs> Resident Evil Two, Three, and Seven are coming to PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X with visual enhancements later this year. This was uh just tweeted out with no context um if there Mm -hmm. has been added context i have missed it achievers let me know um those who currently own these games on ps4 and xbox one will be eligible for a digital upgrade at no additional cost um i thought this was funny logan paul is going to be added to wwe 2k22 in a dlc pack because god is god is dead and we killed him multiple gaming companies are suspending sales in russia joining many in trying to apply pressure to the russian government in reaction to the ukrainian invasion that is still ongoing you'd like to donate to Ukraine, but also get a shit ton of games while you're at it, head over to itch.io to buy a bundle of uh, a bundle that is worth $10, and you will get 200 video games or something like that. It's nonsense. Go over to Item-wise, like for... DLC and everything, it's literally like 900 items. Yeah, and I think it's 300 games. Or some, some, it's something, nonsense. It's crazy. Go enough. over there. You have one week as of recording, so when you're listening to it, if you're not a Patreon member... For free feeds, that's like six days esque ish with a few mm-hmm. hours left. So head over there if you want to do that and donate to Ukraine. Valve was working on multiple projects. Um, this is coming from a Axios interview with Valve designer Greg Coomer. I grabbed a couple things. If you want the full interview that gives a lot of context to what I'm about to say, head over to Axios. There wasn't too much that I found. Um, groundbreaking so i'm just going to bring up uh, bring up the few that i want to highlight they're hand checking steam games to ensure they work on steam deck um they've only done about a thousand uh for context there's about fifty thousand games on their platform so they're pretty much probably going to check the most popular games and then who they probably won't care about the rest a lot of games won't run natively like fortnite and destiny 2 those are two huge games that will not work on steam deck you, it will not work natively. I believe there are workarounds. Like, I think you can download Windows on the Steam Deck and then play it that way, I think. Um, I'm not totally sure if, if how that works, but I'm pretty sure that will work um, if you do it. The uh, corrections in the comments are uh, Patreon, and I'll add that to the, the next show if that's not how it works, but I think it is. Um, and there are currently no current plan. Currently no current. There are no current plans on future versions of the Steam Deck, so they, they don't know if they're going to make more. I think yeah. they're going to go with the... Uh, Alex, you'll remember this, the Steam console. You remember that thing? Rumors yes. are they're, they're going to just license this thing out like they did that, where, like, Alienware is going to make one or whatever. Yeah. Who cares? Anyways, <laughs> that is your rapid fire for the week. Anything you want to bring up on, Alex? Anything you want to talk about out of those rapid fires? Um, Just, uh, I mean, just a shout-out to the... Ukraine, yeah, just do that because that that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. That's if, a dollar if, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we try not to stuff. push our politics onto the show, yeah. but I do think it is a valiant effort to at least donate a little bit of money to the Ukrainian effort. Yep. If you do not want to, keep on moving. Yep. Alex, there was a state of play yesterday. This is Thursday and Wednesday. They had a state of play. Kind of dropped it out of nowhere. Um, mm-hmm. uh, a little tip it for ever all the achievers out there uh if they just drop a state of play probably not going to be amazing <laughs> just to put <laughs> expectations out there we're going to go over alex first off thank you for making these he made the notes for this we're going to go over the notes we're going to just talk about the state of a very quickly i'm going to give you each game alex you stop me if you want to talk about anything specifically got it but we're going to go through each game out of that state of play so starting Exo Primal coming 2023. It's a four-player 
anthem suit. That's what I was gonna say. Dino it looks like a horde anthem. game. Uh, it yeah. looks strange. Literally, but... it started. And it was like, oh, the, a, a swarm of a storm of dinos are coming. I was like, what? And it's literally a portal or a rain of <laughs> just yeah. fucking a raptors pl- everywhere. A black hole opens, and you just see just a <laughs> just these dinosaurs falling out of the like, sky. What is I, happening? I was like, all right. I love that because it's like, w- who cares how they came? They're here now. <laughs> like, yeah, boom, they're here exactly. now. <laughs> um, the next game, Ghostwire Tokyo, March 25th, 2022. <laughs> Alex's note's still weird, but cool looking. <laughs> it is <laughs> true. It's an awesome way of describing it. It is. It's just because I don't know what to make of this game because like, it has like some like thriller vibes. Like, you know, you're like, I'm like, oh, am I going to play this game? I was like, it's, it, it's weird, but it's cool. I'm the I kinda same wanna way. Do am I going to play this? I don't know. I it comes no out idea. like in two weeks, and I'm like, I don't know yet. Uh, Achievers, they didn't market it, but if you want to, there's a prelude for Ghostwire Tokyo out. It's a free, I don't even want to call it demo because it's not a demo, but it will basically like, it's a prelude like of the story. It's yeah, it just gives you more story novel for, yeah. Type game. So if you want to do that, go ahead. Yeah. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins is coming March 18th, 2022. Yeah. Um, and then the demo is out right now. If you want to try out the game, I'm going to. I believe it's on PlayStation, correct? Yes. Only on I PlayStation so. for the demo, or is it on both pl- platforms? I will check real quick. Thank you. Uh, while he checks on that, I, actually, I want to stick on Stranger Paradise for one second. I will it's say... On, it demos on PS5 and PS4. The only PlayStation. Is the game... Re- yeah. the, 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 where's the game the- releasing? I, I should know this. I don't. The game will release on all on, PC, on all PlayStation and Xbox. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I thought so. But the demo itself is on yeah. only on PlayStation. Okay, well, very quickly, I want to stick on this for just one second. First off, this game looks wild. It looks fucking crazy. Like every is time it, someone like, talks, it I can't uh, I can't tell if it's real because <laughs> it's just the the writing well, is I, so is weird. Is this like a standard Final Fantasy game? Like, is it a hack and slash type of thing, or is it is it, it uh, looks like it's turn the, the, based? Or? Well, it looks like I believe it's. You maybe check me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's the same people who made Neo. Okay. Think. Double check. I will check. Tell me. Tell me the the, the dev. The dev. Okay. That will tell you what gameplay mechanics you're getting. Oh my god! Why won't you tell me the dev? Uh, Team Ninja has defended. Uh, is it Team Ninja? Yeah. Yep. I think so. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, Team Ninja. Yeah, Team Ninja. Okay, I thought so. Yeah. And Neo made Team Ninja. So. Yeah. Yeah, Neo made Team Ninja, and they're developing Strange and Strange and Team Ninja's developing Stranger of Paradise, right? Yes. All right, cool. A trepidatious. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Stranger yeah, well, this game, this this game got it had me all confused for a second. No, I get you. It, it looks weird. Yeah. It, I can't wait to try it. Um. Yeah. I, I am curious. The story looks batshit crazy. As far as I understand, it's a prequel to the Warriors of Light Final Fantasy game, which I believe is the first one. Interesting. Um, yeah, it should. Be, yeah, it should. It should be a, a pre because the Warriors of Light, I believe, is the first. Mm-hmm. It might be the third game, but I think it's the first. Um, mm-hmm. so it's a prequel to that. I'm very yeah. interested. Neo and... developer tell. No, what? go ahead, go ahead. Uh, ahead Neo ahead. developer tells you the gameplay styles you're probably looking for. They're clearly trying to emulate a Souls-like combat system, so I can't wait to it's try. It's what it looks like. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, it's sandboxy. You run around. You have a health bar gauge. It looks like Final Fantasy mixed with like what you said with yeah. like Souls a little bit. For spoken, October 11, twenty twenty two. More for spoken. I th- am I gonna like this game? I don't know. I have no idea. Every time I see a trailer, I, I think I will. But more I think yeah. about it, I go, I don't think I will. I, we'll see. I hope I it's will. every time I every time I look at it, I'm like, damn, the story looks cool. But like yeah. when they do when they do like certain things, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like what just happened. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I get so confused because I feel yeah. like I do, but then I think about it, I'm like, something weird about this game. I, I feel like I'm whole, gonna be overhyping this game. And like I'm Saints Row. Like Saints Row is a great example. Of yeah. my feelings of the game, where like on paper I should like this, but something uh, every time I see it, something every time I look at it, I'm at like, me. Mm, no, thank something's you. nagging at me. I'm like, something's wrong. I think 
yeah gundam evolution it's a 6v6 shooter um uh mostly first person i didn't even know that it, yeah um, every, when i looked at the vi- when I, you looked at the trailer it looks like you're first person and then you can transform or do a bunch of other stuff and you be and you have like some robot that you could go into third person but most of the time it looks like you're in first person weird okay there's a network yeah. test for the u.s and japan coming spring 22 curious if this is good i gundam is so, it's i'm so annoyed with gundam because it's it, i feel like it'd be so easy to make a cool gundam game Yet to mm-hmm. see it. Yet to see it. I played a PS2 Gundam game that I had but a lot it's of fun crazy. with, but like, it's, it's like, crazy because you would be think easy. everybody who's into Gundams, like into it, they love these games, dude. They do. Like all the last couple That's Gundams true. that have come out. That's true. TMBT is up next. This is the the Cowabunga Collection. It's coming 2022. Comes with 13 TMT games. 13. It's priced at 39.99. By the way. <gasps> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Edition, Teenage TMNT Turtles in Time, which is one of the most popular ones, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for NES, TMNT 2, the arcade game for NES, TMNT 3, the Manhattan Project for NES, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tormented Fighters for NES, TMNT 4, Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for Super Nintendo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist for Sega Genesis, TMNT 2 Back from the Sewers Game Boy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for Sega Genesis, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for Game Boy, TMNT 3 Radical Rescue Game Boy. That's a lot of stuff. Enjoy. My father probably (laughs) cried when he saw this. (laughs) Happy for you, Dad. I have... I, I will pl- I will buy this and I will play some of them. I'll tell you that, but yeah. I'm not freaking out about it. But I'm excited. Giga Bash. I don't remember this one. If I'm being honest, which one was this? <laughs> it this was a it it looked like it looked top down, but it was like a kaiju brawler. And you're like uh, in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a re. Um, there was an old PS2 I know, game I know that exactly used to be called War about. of Monsters. Yes, that I used to love playing yes. that game. Yep. I um. But yeah, I thought it was that, but then it was. It says it's just Giga Bash. So it's, I think it's supposed to similar, sim, be similar. Is hey, you're the you're the kaiju guy? Anything? It it looks cool, but I don't. It's I don't it's think so, it's. For yeah, me. I'm gonna say yeah. It yeah. sounds like you're not into it. Yeah. Nah, nah. Now nah, give me another a good Godzilla game, and then I'll be. I'll come back to that. Jojo, I tried the Godzilla game. <laughs> Jojo Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. Coming early fall of 2022, it's a fighting game with over 50 playable characters. I didn't even know there were that many characters in JoJo, so congrats Never to even seen like the JoJo. show. Yeah, I can't, we can't talk to this, but congrats to people. I'm sure someone yeah. out there is happy. Tretiomi is what I actually want to talk about, Alex. This is yes. a samurai-esque, black, corridor-esque game. It looks very yeah. cool. Spring 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex's note says possible famous Japanese actors or voice actors. Cool for them. <laughs> it, well, the reason is because they were like, oh, and in, 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 like you know, introducing this care, this the, they they were they were putting the names of all yeah. the actors, the voice actors, and I'm like, are these famous people that are known over there? Like, I don't know. So I'm like, if it is, cool. Nice. It's like it's like it's like we when we got 12 minutes, they're like, oh, it's Willem Dafoe and Daisy Ridley. It's like it's like that. <sighs> Remember the 12 minutes. That's the Yikes. only thing I can compare it to. <laughs> Yikes. Um, that looks awesome. I can't wait for that game. As soon as that's yeah. out, insta buy. Cool. Insta buy for me. Can I believe? Can I wait? Star of the show, and surprising they didn't end with this. Returnal Ascension update. Up to, well, I know why they didn't end with this. Update 3.0 adds co-op campaign and a survival mode. <laughs> and in parentheses, Alex writes, nope, March 22nd, 2022. <laughs> so in about two weeks, we will have a new Returnal update. Alex, you are playing with me. Oh, no, I, I'll come back. I'll I am come back making to the game. you come back to the game. I'll come back to the game. I don't know if I'll stick with it, but I'm definitely not doing survival mode. No, 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 no. But we could do the co-op. Like I'm gonna get you yeah, through yeah. the levels, and we are. No, yeah, it'll if it's, if it's both you and me. I feel like yeah, because oh, literally, yeah. like Hell, yeah, no. yeah. Look, you come co-op with me in Elden Ring, and I'll come co-op you in, in Returnal. All I, right, I'll do it tonight. Fuck it. I'll Fuck I'll, it. I'll push Horizon <laughs> to the side and do some mm. Elden Ring. Now my thing is I might have to put, I, I wonder if I have to start a new character because certain areas I don't know if it'll let me because I'm such a high level. Yeah, I'm curious how that works. Like, are you yeah. put down to your level? Or are you just OP as fuck and you're just walking Can around? I, try, I was trying to do a quest. Yeah. Sidebar for people. 
And uh, if you are, if you're trying to do a certain quest for someone, um, and you're trying, it tells you to inv- invade. You can't go to like a lower leveled area, like for example, the first boss. I'm like, I was level seventy, and when I was, I went back to where the first boss was, try to invade there. It wouldn't let me because mm. anybody that's there would be lower level. So that means that wouldn't help. That wouldn't work. It wouldn't let me do anything multiplayer wise. I had to go to a higher level area, and then it let me invade. Interesting. So you have to. Yeah. Be... Well, we'll see. But I, I play. But it was only like certain areas. Like I think in the in the open worldness areas, like they were as long as there's an I, there's an emblem that pops up saying, "Hey, you can summon now" and things like that. Then you should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Diofield Chronicles is up next. Clearly inspired by Fire Emblem. Oh, yeah, for sure. Very clearly inspired by Fire Emblem. Looks like... This is a Square Enix game, by the way. Looks like a mixture of a Final Fantasy Tactics-like game. It -hmm. is not Final Fantasy Tactics, unless there is going to be an option to do Mm -hmm. turn-by-turn. It looks merely expired-esque, especially with the art style. But this looks way more Fire Emblem than it does Final Fantasy Tactics to me anyways. I cannot wait yep. to play this game. I will be playing this game. Hope it's good. I know that's not your type of game, Alex, so I'm going to move on. Valkyrie- which is crazy because, well, sidebar, uh, no, which no, is crazy ahead. because I do like Fire Emblem Three Houses. We were talking about it earlier that I need to go back to finish it because I actually really enjoy that game. Mm. And this does remind me of it, but this game doesn't speak to me yeah i better say i don't think so like i don't know why but maybe it's just the type because i tried three houses love the game i just never went back to it valkyrie elysium coming 2022 um alex your notes is basically what i think too open world tales like game maybe more sandbox yeah like yeah I uh, the game we didn't get too too much like we saw her hit boxes yeah. that was interesting I guess it, uh, um, it's weird because it reminded me a lot of tales and had a had a baby with near yeah because the reason near because like how everything's more like on the on the color scale is more on the grayish and less yeah. palette it's not colorful because tales is super colorful but it's like that so I I don't know I'm interested because I I like these type of games but another game that has to do with ragnarok i mean like jesus you'll take it one this year is this not you don't like that you you don't want it when it comes to the point where no i know but like when every single game i play has to do with ragnarok i think i'm like okay i need you need to relax that tells another game a couple years ago uh, that tells you um what are they called like this, like when they're the surveying, theme. when they're surveying people, and they're like, "Oh, yeah. Nordic is really hot right now. How do we yeah. integrate that?" I feel like I, that might be. I don't. I don't know. That might be one of the reasons. There was a I, there was a year a couple years ago. There was like a bunch of games were like, "Oh, it's the same theme again," and yeah. I'm like, "Oh my god," because we got God of War this year too. And that is it for this state of play. What did you think? I will Fine. quickly give my thoughts. <laughs> Go for it. It's fine. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. People people get way too excited for these things. Yeah. You gotta understand. And they drop these things and they give you zero time to plan to watch it. Like I think this was announced a day before. They're trying to set your expectations. <laughs> so let's, They're let's not just good. say that let's just say that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch this at five and then I even missed it. Because I was in the middle of playing Elden Ring. And I was like, yeah. it was like 540. And I was like, oh, I forgot to say to play. It was already <laughs> done by then. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, you know what? It's already on YouTube. Yep. So like, I'll watch it after I'm done with yeah, this. Yeah, I I'm just, I don't want to spend too much time on this. because it. Yeah. But quick thoughts. It is. It was. I mean, honestly, it feels like state it, of play. It seems like there was like, a little bit for whatever. everyone. But like little ones. Little things. Yeah. We'll see. I'll see. I will see when they have a because we know PlayStation is going to have a big event later in the year. Yeah, for PSVR two. That mm-hmm. that's when I'm going to get excited. I don't mm-hmm. state of plays. They're in the Nintendo Direct. Like you know when a, there's going to be a hot Nintendo Direct. I feel like yeah. you know when there's going to be a good state of play because they will fucking hype it up. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good at telling us which one's going to tell good. you beforehand, not like a couple hours before. Yeah. Alex, we have some Spartacus details that seemingly were leaked. This is from Jeff Uh-oh. Gubb over at GameSpeed. 
Now, he does preface all of this with saying some of this might change. He did not, he might have said this on one of his podcasts or something, but as of the article, it does not seem like he is 100% saying this is everything that's going to be in it. This is meant to be an outline of the three tiers that will be available when this thing launches seemingly sometime in March is what he said. So, number one, for $10 a month, you get PS Essential. That's what it's going to be called. Might, again, might change, but as of right now, PS Essential. Works as PlayStation Plus works today. Nothing for you changes if you have this tier. Nothing. It's, everything's the exact same. Two, it's called PS Plus Extra. You get the previous tier, as well as a game catalog of a seemingly 100 plus games that are on PS Now. Seemingly the PS4 games. Unclear if it's PS3, but you essentially seems to get PS4 games on PS Now. The third tier, highest tier possible. Um, oh, and I missed the. I'm sorry, I missed the price. It was thirteen dollars for the PS Extra. And PS Plus Premium, sixteen dollars a month. Sixteen dollars a month. Again, can change. Everything as well as PS Now's streaming capabilities. You will get a library of classic games and a new game trial feature with PlayStation games, similar to EA Play's trial feature. It will be like a time-limited thing. If you have EA Play, you know exactly how it works. You play the game for Alex. You would probably know three hours. Is that what it was? What? For the EA Play trial feature. It's three, is it three hours? The, to, like, to be able to play the game beforehand? It, it's, remember, it's, they have it's, a trial. Yeah, it's, it's timed. 10. It's 10? Jesus. Fuck. 10. That's so 10 long. hours. Yeah. Don't know if PlayStations will be 10. It might be 5. Max. But... You'll get a trial for PlayStation 3 games. Again, everything he noted there. Maybe, but will probably be generally what, what happens. Alex! So, my big takeaway from this... Your thoughts? They didn't... They didn't... This is leaks. Mention... Just a, just, just, I, 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 I know, it. yeah, I get okay. it. Okay, making sure all the achievers... This is, this, it is leaked. This is a leak they did, thing. It, well, this leak... Has no mention of it. Are you including the subscription that you pay to be able to play online, or is this already included? PS Plus. Um, oh, okay, okay, excuse me. Because so, PS PS Essential is PS yeah. Plus. Okay. Just the name is now changed. Okay. To be and able that's to what, get and that and that's what used to be, which was the sixty dollars a year, correct? Yes, PS Plus. Okay. PS Plus and is it, the was it normally still uh, ten dollars right? a month? Yes, even because they yeah because okay. they want you to pay a year for sixty, or okay, you so pay ten a month and okay. pay double the price. Same gotcha. as Xbox. Basically. Okay, that's why I was my confusion. Now, no, I, get I was it. like, yeah, because there's no mention of. I of course you would think it's already included, but they just didn't say anything. So. No, I get. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to be clear, because if you're confused, the achievers probably are too. Ten dollars yeah. a month. Nothing just- changes for you for PS no, Nothing. You still get your free games with PS Plus. Assumably, mm. you still get your discounts with PS Plus. Also, assumably, you get the free packs that you get with random games a month as well if you are on PS Essential. Hmm. When things start changing, yeah. you start paying more money. The extra yeah. and the premium. Yep. I think, I think they're going to make it very clear that they want it, this to be very easy. So... Ten dollars, nothing changes for you, or yeah. you're, you know, like Alex said, sixty bucks a month, you know, lump sum. You're good for a year. A year, yeah. Then extra and premium. That's when it gets complicated. Yeah. Now, if this is all true, sounds good to me. I have no complaints. If I'm being honest, I, I yeah. don't. I, I, we I mean, should preface. Fine to me, yeah. We should preface. We are mostly Xbox people, anyways. I yeah. myself would probably pay for premium. I currently have plus, of course. Oh yeah. I would probably just pay for premium because first off, classic games, hell yeah. Um by oh, the yeah. way, he does not go into what classic means. 
Does that mean more PS1 games? Does that mean more PS2 games? Is that just the PS2 it's something games less are... than PS4? <laughs> yeah, it, well, yeah. It, does that mean everything on PS now? Because it's sound, what he kind of hinted at. It doesn't sound like a lot of things are being added. It's just PS now and Plus are being put into basically one thing. Yeah, but even then, PS Now. I mean, there's a lot of games like you get all your yeah. Infinite Images back. All the PS3 PS games now is, that are on there. PS Now is a little underrated. Yeah. Um, the only that's thing kind that of PlayStation's sucks. fault, if I'm being honest. Uh, we'll talk well, about that later in the show yeah. that they're adding. It some... sucks because you gotta do the streaming bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could download PS4 games, but again, they don't really make it easy for people to know that. Like, yeah why and again maybe they were planning to put it in this but ps now is almost not advertised at all like yeah how would anyone know that it's there it's a pretty good service if you only have a playstation system mm. yeah, i yeah definitely get ps now or you know but now just wait for this uh which most likely will be soon but um alex what as a whole what do you think i mean it sounds fine I'm yeah. just wondering what the, for, for, P, for PS Extra. Yeah. Like the game catalog. It just says that they're going to take a, a, yeah. a library you, of hundreds of older downloadable games. Isn't that what PS Now is already? Right. So it's a, what's unclear, and I'm going to bring up the articles because I want to make sure I'm getting this correct. His verbiage specifically, PS Plus Extra, mm-hmm. gets you the monthly games and a game yep. catalog for 13 a month. Yeah. The game catalog is a library of hundreds of older downloadable games. This seems like Sony ripped that download catalog out of PS Now and popped it into PS Plus instead. Okay. So it sounds like you're getting probably the PS4 games for PS Plus Extra. Then when you get Essential, that gives you the PS3 and the PS2 games and presumably you some PS1 premium. games. Sorry, premium. I apologize. Thank you Got for it. catching me on that. Um, assumably that's when you get the big games, the, the not the big games, sorry, the older games, the ca- the classics, the PS, everything games, else, the PS2s, pretty much. Again, assumably PS1 games. Yeah, got it. I get, and, and again, it, this is kind of confusing because he probably doesn't know everything. Like he, this is yeah. probably slight guess, not guessing, but you know, like he has to piece through like sources yeah. and things. Yeah, uh, we'll move on. I bet it's it's cool. I can't wait. I can't yeah, wait for I this mean, to I finally be out. Game Pass. I'm gonna get this too. So, same here. Yep. Uh, quick note. I didn't put this in day updates. It's a big deal, but there's not much to talk about. But the new Pokemon game was announced. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Oh, yeah. Coming <laughs> late 2022. Uh, not much else to really say. They showed off the three starters. They look adorable as always. Um, yep. they showed some screenshots. Uh, Pokemon had a um, I guess uh, a Pokemon presents that like shows like all their stuff. This is I believe what they ended on, but it's called yeah. Scarlet and Violet. Those are the two different versions. And again, you could go see the starters right now. I want Red Dino Boy. He looks very, very nice. <laughs> uh, we already talked about the Elden Ring performance. I want to highlight this very quickly. So. Seasoned achievers will note that if you ever want to know what game a company is working on, go look at their hires or who they've hired recently or their hired listings, things like that. Mm-hmm. Case in point, if you go over to Bungie's website, over on their Apply Now section, they have an opening for a creative director. Sounds fine, right? Nothing to go. But if you go over to the description Says of no. As creative director, you will be tip of the spear to define the vision and the features for a new third-person action game at Bungie. Uh, everything else is a lot of mumbo jumbo. I won't bore you with that. You know, project leadership, executive team, blah blah blah. But that tells you that uh, the code name I believe Matter was the code name for the game. Mm-hmm. Code name Matter is a third-person action game. Exciting. New step for Bungie, whatever that game. Uh, uh, again, uh, more rumors and speculation was that it's a multiplayer focused video game. So it's strictly a multiplayer game. And it's going to be a, again, rumors, esports kind of like focused multiplayer game. We'll see. 
That's all I have to know. I don't like have over, anything like really Overwatch, else to say. things like that. Yeah, you know, like a strategy esque most player online video game. Yeah, is what it seems to be. I have no comments. I'm just, just wanted yeah, to bring that. I don't know. We know. We now know it's going to be a third person. Act. Yeah. Date updates for you. This is an exciting one. Halo Season 2 starts May 3rd, and it's called Lone Wolves. They released some concert art of two Lone Wolves. They also showed off the new Fractured skin, which looks like a fusion between Fallout, Power Armor, and Halo, which looks very sick. I'll show you uh, Achievers in a quick second who are watching on YouTube. There will be an arena map called Catalyst. Again, arena maps are different from B2Bs, which are big team battles. Arena maps are the much smaller ones, like... Uh, like twat or something like that you know like a small map mm. um, and then your uh, big team battle map is called breaker uh, Alex you might know catalyst I, it looks so familiar is that a different name for that map uh, if you click on the hyperlink it'll go can you tell me if that looks like another halo map it, as soon as I looked at it I was like Jesus that looks like a map I just couldn't Let's think of the see. name um, while Alex looks at it modes added will be last Spartan standing which is a of course free for all mode and a new mode called Land Grab, and King of the Hill comes back. Oh, they did God. note in there a uh, little release here about season two. Co op campaign will not be ready by May 3rd. They did say it's coming in season two, but they will not be ready for launch. So that means some point during season two, they will release co op campaign. Cool. Honestly, it looks a little bit that they mixed like two uh, maps. It looks like they mixed, I think there's one called either isolation or blackout and then they mix that with guardian uh okay. from halo 3 that we used to love playing on all the time it, it looks like like they mixed the two and then the bottom one looks like a little bit like zenith all right achievers this is your lone wolves and on youtube you'll see this so these are the skins that you'll get um if you remember like the armor you'll get throughout the battle pass here you go boom Eh, you know, cool. They look like yeah. Special Forces guy, which I kind of like. Mm-hmm. And then I will show you... Oh, cool big boy. Yes, big man. There you go. Boom. So it looks like... I mean, straight... I mean, Alex. Did I nail it? Power Fallout power armor. Like, that's exactly mm-hmm. what it looks like, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Almost Doom Eternal-esque, too. Yeah. I bit. thought... At first, I thought it was the Doom armor for a yeah, second. It looks like Doom armor. But but that it looks sick. It does look yeah. sick, so I give it to them. They do. They are making cool armor, um, so that's very cool. And then here is a picture of the map. It's Catalyst. Eh, you know, looks cool, but yeah. Catalyst. God, it looks like a map. And this one, I didn't see anything to. It looks very cool. And that's it for Halo Season 2. Alex, are you coming back? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I turned it on. Uh, so I turned it on the other, uh, the other day to play a match. Okay. And I was just like, I'm still like tier 71 because I was like, I never finished the season. And I'm like, damn, should I finish it before the season ends? We have May, until May 3rd. I, I should. Oh, yeah. I had plenty of time then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should yeah. come back. They have a stupid challenge system. Where you don't just bank challenges, they just, just they just go away. So fucking stupid. Their challenges are so stupid. just copy Apex. It's, it's not Destiny, bro. What? No, you you like their challenge system? Oh no 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 no! I just think I just I know I wish they had the banking thing like they did yeah, with Destiny. Like well, Apex. It's not even Destiny. Apex Fortnite. What? Well, I mean, mm. you don't bank them on Apex. It just automatically finishes. I think we're confused. Sorry. So what I mean by banking is Mm -hmm. uh, they don't go away. So you have week one, you have week two challenges, you have week three challenges. Sorry, I should have been more clear. I thought Uh, you meant banking as in like you could do a bunch of them and then like keep them there and then you can turn them in like Destiny does. Oh, 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 okay. I see. No, 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 no. Yeah, gotcha. I see what you mean. Like week one, like Fortnite, like yeah, week one and it means it says completed. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, week two, week three. Yeah. That yeah, means, I wish like, they do that. Yeah, yeah. And I get it. You want people to play every week. Not going to happen. Make, yeah. uh, make every week available. And mm-hmm. everyone... So th- Their challenge system is really bad. Hopefully they fix that. Yeah. 
uh, we already talked about Forspoken. Gotham Knights comes October 25th. Please. <laughs> It's, please it's close. <laughs> it's close please it's... happen oh my god i can't wait for this game i cannot wait for gotham night this game i can't wait i i hope <laughs> alex i really hope it's good i i do i think it will be but i i will be heartbroken if it's bad but i really do think it's gonna be good uh wb is holding no i think it's gonna be good i'm just scared that they're gonna de- they're gonna delay it again i'm fine with if they uh, please don't delay it but hopefully they don't. But I, again, I hope it's in good shape too, because God mm-hmm. knows we, we we just don't know. We've seen it once, basically. So mm-hmm. uh, Nintendo tweeted this out. Unfortunately, um, in li- in light of re- recent world events, we have de- de- decided to delay Advance Wars One Plus Two Reboot Camp, which was re- originally scheduled to release on Nintendo Switch April eighth. Please stay tuned for updates on our new release date. So they tweeted that out. Unfortunate. I guess I get it. War game out. Oh, there's a war going on, so I guess I get it. Mm-hmm. But also, um, uh, let me double check. This is true. To be fair, though, isn't that like what every other game is? It's just two people fighting, and it's considered war. But I get this I one get, has the name the wars in the title. I get that but. they were I get they're being safe. Yeah. But like would have any, would really anyone be like Oh, you know, how insensitive. <laughs> yeah. Also, again, this is a complicated issue, right? There's a, literally a war happening right now. Yeah. The game comes out April eighth. The war, uh, I'm the war. Unless something crazy, the war is gonna s- keep going. Keep going the, yeah. They, they, yeah. So it, I mean, do you wait, where do you put it? Are you waiting for the war to end? Like you know, what I mean, like it's it's, it's, the it's, logic just, it's just delayed it, indefinitely. But I but I get yeah, I know right. We'll, we'll only release it when you when Russia leaves. Putin's a huge advanced war fan. He's like. Fuck! <laughs> like, he's like, I gotta leave. I want to play Advance Wars. That's the only thing I could think of is maybe like because everything is being shut down over there to where like oh maybe they have a lot of, uh, they have a big Advance Wars like ba- like fan base over there. Maybe that's so uh, so they don't want to release it there. So they gotta. I wait. think Nintendo just wants to be safe. I think they're literally yeah. just maybe they want it. They're like this literally says war in it. Maybe we don't. Not yet. Yeah. Like if yeah. you want to say like Nintendo. Does not want to fuck with their reputation. They have a great mm-hmm. reputation. It's like too soon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So this is very dark. <laughs> um, uh oh. Uh, this is very dark to bring up. But just to just for reference, um, the original Advance Wars on Game Boy released September tenth, two thousand and one. Fucked up, right? Fucked up timing. Unfortunate for them. Cause that yeah. now that yeah, day before, oof, yeah. oof, rough. Maybe that's the yeah. Maybe that's they were, why. They were like, Ooh, they're like the last, last time, time we that we caused this. Did we do it? Uh, well, how unfortunate for them. It, it does suck. I'm sure the people there are like, fuck. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see here. PS Now games were announced. Very good game, by the way. PlayStation Now is getting Shadow Warrior Three, which is a pretty new game. Isn't that, isn't that, that's a new game? Yeah, it's a new game. So yep. uh, March. Uh, this all started March first, by the way. So Shadow Warriors Three is out. Crisis Remastered is on PS Now. Oh wow. Uh, Relectica, Relecta, Relecta, Relecta is out, and Chicken Police Paint It Red. Do I get to help with this? I don't. Relicta. Because it's relic and then ta, so relicta, Rel- relicta. Cool. It's a terrible fucking name. Terrible name. Terrible name. But I do want to try out Crisis Shadow Remastered. Warrior. Really, you want to try out Crisis Remastered? Did you never play I it on three sixty? I st- I did, and oh, I don't did. remember. F- I don't remember finishing it because I, I do remember it. I'm enjoying. I think you tried it. it when you came over one time. Maybe because I had it. I remember. Yeah, I thought it was cool. And a quick note, Shadow Warrior 3 is available until July 4th for PS Now. So you got a long time with the game. You forgot Uh, another game. 
What's this chicken uh, chicken police? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, Ch- chicken police paint it red. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I didn't hear you say it. I didn't yeah, see yeah, it. at the I very end. Yeah, it. chicken police gotcha. paint it red. The hard boiled detective, detective satire right. is story rich and dialogue heavy in a grand tradition of visual novels and classic adventure games. Sony Featherland and Marty Mac Chicken were once a legendary detective what? duo called the Chicken Police. But that was almost a decade ago, and time has ruthlessly passed them by. Now Sony and Marty are forced to work together on a case that is weirder than anything they've ever encountered before. Collect tons of clues, evidence, and highly sensitive personal information from the shady characters of Clawville to use ruthlessly against them. So it looks like, uh, yeah, you're some chicken. You're you're both roosters, and <laughs> that looks like a, a croc- cat. There looks like a crocodile mafia boss guy. Looks like a raccoon, a dog. There's a there's a and cat. They, well, what's the what's most unsettling is they all have human bodies but have animal heads. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Why is uh, it that the cat's the only one that has colored eyes? Maybe. Because it's a cat? I don't know. I think I think just it looked pretty, I guess. I don't Maybe. know. This 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 is weird. We're gonna go and move on. Move it. Very on. excited about Shadow Warrior 3 though. I do I, I really do want to play that. Game Pass games. Game Pass Coming soon to Game Pass. So uh I won't read all these. There's a lot. Hmm? Far changing tides, cloud console and PC. Available day one in Game Pass. Since this is an available day one, I'll read this one. Embark on a stunning new journey in this atmospheric vehicle adventure set in a beautiful, realized, post-apocalyptic world. Um, that's an interesting choice of words. Beautiful, post-apocalyptic. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how is right. it beautiful and post-apocalyptic? As for protagonist yeah. Toe, you must navigate the flooded landscape at the helm of a unique ship that upgrades and evolves as you progress on your journey. Solve puzzles, navigate the changing weather, and dive to unknown depths in your search for a new home. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming to cloud. That's cool. So wow. if you're on a cloud and you use that, go ahead. Have fun. Lightning Returns on Final Fantasy 13 cloud console and PC. That's out now. Mm-hmm. Kentucky Route Zero cloud console PC, March 10th. I'm very excited to try this out. I heard this is fun. Um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, what? Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Lawn Mowing Simulator. <laughs> My dad's going to play this. Lawn Mowing Simulator is available right now. <laughs> PC, Xbox Series, SNX, and a cloud game. Is it bad that I want to play it? He loves it, he said. <laughs> he, said he loves it. <laughs> dude, loves it. I, dude, I looked at it and I was like, that looks satisfying. I can't cut my grass right now, so I was like, mm-hmm. let's cut this grass. Well, you see, because I think you get jobs and stuff, and like, like mm-hmm. you can, and there's different things. Like, it's hilarious. Hmm? Surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Cloud Console and PC, March 10th. Right. Wow. That's a it's, pretty I mean, good Game Pass game. Like, I was about to say, it's shit. a good game. Yeah. My top, uh, was it? I already forgot. I think it was in my top five of last year. So, hey, go play that. That was a great game. So it was somewhere in there. Combat, eh. But the, the, the story's really yeah. good. Yeah. Young Souls, Cloud Console and PC, available right now. Available Still day one dark. of Game Pass. Since it's day one, I'll read. Gear up and begin your journey solo or co-op to rescue the professor. Young Souls draw you in with not only its stunning arch direction, clever beat 'em up gameplay and RP mechanics, RPG mechanics, but also with its sharp writing and incredible universe setting between two worlds you will fall in love with. Plus, Ultimate members can play with Xbox Touch controls from their mobile device on day God. one with Cloud Gaming. I couldn't imagine playing a Dark Souls game with touch controls. Me either. Yeah, like it just they says probably Young Souls will never add that to their game. <laughs> uh, so there's an Xbox update on PC. I'll quickly read. You can now have the option to choose what folder your games will get installed to, access to files for select games you've installed, as well as options to repair and move your games. <laughs> and you will have a, the ability to mod more games. Interesting that you can mod all of them. Um, you will not have to reinstall your existing games. Just right-click on them in the left-hand side of your app. Click on Manage, then Enable. You can also move and repair your games from here. Hmm. Uh, Those are game updates we're not reading. Ultimate perks, nothing crazy. Uh, These are all leaving March 15th. So as of, uh, if you're on Patreon, it's leaving in five days. If you are on free feeds, uh, it's four days. You know the drill. 
Um, if you buy these games before they leave, you get 20% off. Near Automata? Bogs? Looked like a slur. I was like, what the fuck am I about to say? <laughs> Torchlight 3? The Surge 2. Those four games are all leaving Cloud Console and PC. You want to keep them. Or just play them before they leave. But remember, 20% off, you buy them before they leave. Do we have Near Tama? Yes. Okay. Pretty sure. Because I was about to say, if not, I'm going to have to get that because that's a good game. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Like, 70% sure. <laughs> Pac-Man Museum Plus has been announced for PS4, Xbox, Switch, and PC launches May 27th. It is coming to Game Pass on day one. 14 different Pac-Man games. Customizable virtual arcade. They will also be online leaderboards. Alex! Can't get enough Pac-Man. That's the news for the week. Yeah. Alex, I like to end the show the way I began it. One singular question that we leave the achievers on so they can go enjoy their weekend. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you have queued up? This, of course, can be a game, a video game, a comic book, a movie, a TV show, maybe even some mm-hmm. music. What do you have queued up for the week? I got a couple things. I'm trying, I mean, other than Elden Ring, because that's going to take my life right now. Um, I got some shows I need to catch up on, because new Vikings Valhalla show came out. And now, mind you, I, that's another, uh, it's a Viking-ish show. For the second one is The Last Kingdom, which is another Viking show. <laughs> that came out yesterday, and I'm already on episode and you, three. And you're the one bitching that, but you're, but you're watching them all. Yeah, because they're Isn't that good. partially your fault, though? Because you were bitching well, about the Ragnarok thing earlier, right? Yeah, so but, I, I feel like partially like, your fault, so right? You're watching them there's all. A, so there is a difference. Okay. Vikings shows and games, as long as the stories are different, I don't mind. Because it's set in different times, things like okay. that. When each game or story has to literally do with Ragnarok, I'm like, all right, relax. We have God of of War coming. God of War Ragnarok. We have today, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dawn of Ragnarok. And then we have that Elysium game, which is has to do Ragnarok's coming. Literally is all about the same thing. If literally those games all had different like Viking like stories, then it would I wouldn't bitch. Like the shows, they, they are, they're completely set timelines. They they don't even they're not even in the same world. Speaking of God of War, they announced a TV show. Yeah, for God of War. I wonder who they're gonna pick. Um, you can. Uh, it better be Christopher Judge. That would be kind of sick. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd I feel like he could sick. do it because he's he's big they enough. Are, they are I mean, shopping it. A God of War TV show to Amazon specifically. Okay. Amazon's not bad. They do some good shows. No, no, no. I mean, it all depends on who the, who's on the project. Dude, Netflix. I, I, Netflix does all their shows are really good. Uh, what, uh, Alex, you're the TV guy. Yeah, I, did, <laughs> what, yeah, I was like, <laughs> seven different like, things you... hit my brain at once. <laughs> Literally, I, c- I couldn't talk. Um, uh, just for quick reference, no deal is closed yet. Project based yeah. on the pop again. The potential series hails from the Expanse creators Mark Fergus and Hawk Otsby, and Wheel of Time showrunner Rath Judkins. So you like uh, the Expanse people, and the yes. Wheel of Time I've heard is really good. So interesting. Three potentially very good people working yeah. together on the show. Yeah, if yeah, it gets I picked really up, like we don't Expanse. know if it's been picked up yeah. yet. But yeah, yeah, you're the TV show guy. Mm-hmm. Are you excited for this? Yeah, no, I'm very excited. I mean, I've been excited for Last of Us and things like that. And now I'm, ex- I mean, God of War. That's crazy. Um, I didn't think they would ever do one. Now it says God of War, and every time they show it, they keep showing pictures of the new God of War. Now they haven't now, given any details. To as be fair, in, these are it... articles, right? So, no, for sure. Yeah, but they, like they now... they haven't said anything. Yeah, what so they just said it's God of War. So is this pre? Uh, Norse, or is Probably. this the beginning of Kratos, and we're getting the whole beginning story thing? I imagine you do pre, right? Or are we getting the in between where after he leaves? Because we never guarantee we got it's that not sto- in between. Because we oh, got the story in the comic. Yeah, I, I don't like, think it'll yeah. be in between. I do not. We never that. learned about Faye. We can learn who she is. 
I do not think this 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 will not be an additive. This will be a retread. A separate thing. Okay. Yeah, I think. Well, no, I I don't think this will add anything. Like this won't give us context for something. This will be retread. Like this will retell God of mm-hmm. War One or Ascension yeah. okay. or something. So I think this is a retelling. Then you think it's like the beginning of Kratos again? Like this is who he is. Him mm-hmm. gotcha. banging random women. He does. I mean, screaming, honestly, I. All that stuff. You know, every time you would do that, I forgot that that's what the person was named was Calliope. Calliope! I thought that was just a, like, it was like, oh, you're just saying some random ass nope. like, name. But no, that's the you name. You said that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Calliope! He's fucking screaming and all the time. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see because, you know, we only ever saw, like, his stuff through, like, weird little cutscenes. It's like, I want to see, like, an actual story based off that like you know like the only way sounds, you it sounds fucked up but like being able to see like how he became the god of war and like you know watch him murder his family to, i'm into yeah, that i had to see just i had to see him go through walking, that killing his 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 daughter or and, uh, his father and shit yeah that would be free yeah, it's his it's his, it's his wife cool, and though, daughter that was his dad too or it's just his wife his daughter like they were hiding in some uh town village and uh, Ares was like, hey, go slaughter all these people. Yeah, go kill them all. And he yeah, them. and so he literally walked in there, started doing the chains everywhere, killed everybody. And behind uh, behind everybody was his wife and daughter hiding. And he, he realized. And then the ch- there was an oracle outside that cursed him. And that's why he's like white and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's their ashes clean mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He walked away fucking laughing. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like just a good, that's gonna be the highlight of her week. Like literally, that's what the cut. And that's the, what the cutscene was for the game. She's yeah. just he's just fucking on the floor and she's just walking away, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, I what? Just, in like the weekly uh, Oracle meeting, she's just like, you won't believe the person I cursed. I made right? his skin white. It's not even that bad. Just his skin's white now. Mm-hmm. I feel like the. I feel like. The punishment doesn't really fit the crime here. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I guess I get it because, you know, he's, every yeah, he's time he always looks at his skin white. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. But yeah, it's I'm, I'm wondering fucking... how he got his tattoo. Like, I know who, I know what the tattoo resembles and what it's supposed to mean. But like, I'm wondering, like, who did it or when did he get it? Because <laughs> that's a, the tattoo is supposed to be from his brother, Demos. Demos has a scar that's the exact same where the tattoo is. And then it's a, when he got taken... That's why he is to uh, honor him. I'll be curious to see that as well, because yeah, there's pol- multiple things they can do with the show, right? They they could mm-hmm. make it the new God of War stuff, yeah, but have flashbacks showing you more of his story. Yeah, I think it would be much easier to have this the season be God of War one, basically, because mm-hmm. God of War has. That isn't a great story, but it, te- it tells a coherent it enough story, a yeah. I feel like, you can describe in about a season of the show, about yeah. 10 episodes. You could yeah. pretty much get well, through Well, even, I mean, Ascension I or go the Ghost of Sparta game, like, those, like, those are, those are pretty cool. Yep. We'll see. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I think it's a cool show. Mm-hmm. I'm more, uh, surprisingly, I think, I'm more excited about a God of War show than Last of Us. Um, yeah. Only because... I think it's because of the opportunities because uh, God of War is so supernatural and things like that. Like they, they can mm. like I mean like I'm wondering how much CG is going to be this is show. Well, this is with Last very, of Us. This is, is going to be a very expensive show. That I'm, it's, it's probably yeah, why they're going exactly. to Amazon because they heard yeah. With well, they heard the you spent a billion dollars on Lord of the Rings. Maybe we just get a hundred million. Exactly. Yeah. So like I'm like yeah we got Lord of the Rings. I forgot about maybe about we that. get a tenth of Lord of the Rings budget. And yeah, we're good. and Expanse had really and, and, and Expanse had a really good uh, budget. There's from, uh, from looks their good. show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will say um, to finish my point. The I think the reason I'm ex- more excited about the God of War show than the Last of Us show because I feel like the Last of Us show, or sorry, the Last of Us video game, it's told mm-hmm. the story pretty much perfect. Yeah, where God of War doesn't really have a great story, or at least doesn't tell it well. They, yeah, they don't. Um, they don't give you enough details. So like yeah, with this, yeah. they so, can give you the back uh, details. You can get a more coherent, mm-hmm. clean storytelling from the show versus yep. the games where 
not really paying attention to the story. Like, like why has Kratos always been an asshole? I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like in the games, he's just just straight up always like this. But like, why? Just banging random women too. Just yep. random ass. I remember yep. that in God of War three where he walks in and he's like, maybe I'll bang Ye- Hephaestus's wife. Basically, when oh, he's yeah. in the next room, I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. And if you do it correctly, you get a three uh, foursome. You get a foursome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God of War was Games were one. fucking weird. <laughs> God of War 1, and he's like, come back to bed, Kratos, and it's literally like two women, and he just, you, go, you can go on the bed. Tits are all and, out. You could go on the bed and actually do them. It just doesn't show it. Yeah, it's... it's God of War nice. definitely is different now. <laughs> now you're just yeah. dreading his dead wife. Second one. Yes, and that is his second wife, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean... She sounded cool. I hope we get... Faye? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I want to cool. know more about Faye and stuff. So, made the, Maybe. Did, did she make? She didn't make the axe, but that was her. No, no, no. S- S- Sindri and, Br- and they made it, but they the made axe it for her. her. It was hers. Yeah, yeah, it was hers. <laughs> that sounds fucking cool. It's a giant yeah, it was her lady axe with a and Leviathan axe. Yeah, it was her axe that she left for Kratos. On that note, yep. Thank you so much, Achievers, for joining us for this week's. Episode of the Easy Cheapest Game Podcast, episode 109? 10. It's Ten. 110. Episode 110. 110. So, you want to know what we're going to do for 117? Nothing. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, by the time we get to one, to, by the, if, by the time we get to episode 117, maybe. The show right, might on. be out. Hold on. I want to look at a calendar. You want to see what? Yeah, look at a calendar. I'm going to so, see when the show comes 11, out. 112, 114. I mean, the day. So it will be April 28th. So we're yeah. just short. I, I was hoping uh, our the, 117 would be the week of May 3rd, which would be season two of Halo. That would be hilarious. Now, the thing is. The show is already going to be out March twenty fourth this uh, this month. Okay, so we, we can really talk about us, like if, well, we can talk about <laughs> if the show's good or not. I guess, but like that means we wait through. Who cares? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> Thank you I so much for the. Inter- I don't know. I don't <laughs> Thank know. you so much, achievers. Remember, you can head over to the <laughs> podcast service of your choice and five star us. Remember, Spotify now does five star reviews. You can like, subscribe, share with a friend over on youtube.com slash easy achievers. It's not really slash easy achievers. They don't let us do that yet. But if you just search easy achievers, then go to our thing, then like and subscribe and share. That would be really cool. Patreon.com if you'd like to uh, support us financially. On that note, I'm going to go play more. Maybe Horizon. The ring! Elden Ring, since Alex has a little more time, we'll play some Elden Ring. We'll have a good time. On that note, yep. Achievers. Remember, 